y'all for tuning in. This is Just Jay Signature. Welcome to the Signature Review. Yo, 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 yo. All right, so we got this new album by Pastor B, right? And this new album is called Push Up and Proverbs, right? So we got another record that he sent us. Thank you for sending us the second record to the Signature Review. We about to get into it. It's called We Win featuring Mr. Good Bars. So Pastor B, let's go ahead. We about to check this out. Hello, hello, the king, they know, he came, and rose, Jesus, the goat, he's coming again, we live our life for him, we the death and sin, yo, we win, hello, hello, the king, they know, he came, and rose, Jesus, the hope is coming again. We live our life for him. We will put the scene. Y'all yeah, willing, I know what I'm supposed to. Every prayer feeling like I'm Goku. Read the Bible till my whole family come through. I'm about to give a sermon on these pro tools. Yeah, get, get, get it. When I call the word of God, get the feeling. Never, never get a hold of me. I can see what it calls me. Y'all looking for the gold key. Let's go like old dreams. God watch me in a cold sleep. Hello, hello, the king. They know he came and rose. Jesus, the goat, he's coming again. We live our life for him. We will put the sin. Yo, we win. Hello, hello, the king. Yo, why did they stop in the middle of my sheet? Come on now. We live our life for him. We will put the scene. Yo, we we hello, hello, the king, they know, he came in rose, Jesus, the hope he's coming again. We live our life for him. We will put the scene. Yo, we we yeah, what you say about it? You know what we about it, cause I'm all Christ about it. You know what we come with me, better than twice about it. I thought I'd be oh my God, I might slice about it. I'm a sinner, I'm a winner. You and God tell me, that's what I'm finna. Cause I'm willing, I be chilling. Like James Brown said, I got that feeling. If I can keep me right, me right. If God can keep me right, God can change your life. If God can keep me right, God can change your life. If God can keep me right, God can change your life. Hello, hello, the king, they know he came and rose. Jesus, the goat, he's coming again. We live our life for him. We will put the sea. Yo, we we hello, hello, the king, they know he came. In Rose, Jesus, the hope is coming again. We live our life for him. We will put the scene. Yo, we we hello, hello, the king, they know he came. In Rose, Jesus, the hope is coming again. We live our life for him. We will put the scene. Yo, we we hello, hello, the king, they know he came. In Rose, Jesus, the hope is coming again. We live our life for him. We will put the scene. Yo, we win. Shout out to uh, Shorty Low, you feel me? Like, this song right here was a hit at the time, you know what I'm saying? The Shorty Low joint called They Know. Pastor B did a remix to this joint. It sounded like a pure remix of it, you know what I'm saying? He wanted to, you know, his name Pastor B, so it all connects and makes sense. You know, he wanted to create a song, you know, for Jesus and Jesus. And, you know, he wanted to make a song, you know, and, like, probably do this record in church. So I feel like, honestly, when I first hear this record, I'm already, like, shorty low. Like, I've heard this before. So I'm sure... 
Pastor B was thinking to himself, like, I got to do something that people going to feel, that people are going to connect to automatically. So I'm sure that's why he did this record, you know what I mean? He knew, like, okay, let me make them dance. Let me let them get up in church. You know, he's a real pastor. You know, only, the reason why his name is Pastor B is because he's a real pastor. He's creating music for his ceremonies, you feel me? I think that's a brilliant idea, first of all, because the fact that you can understand, hey, I understand what people like, but then I also understand what I have to do to connect to people. And that's just, you know, familiarity, getting music and kind of playing around with it and coming up with your own creative ways of how you do it. I think that that's a great idea. Sonic standpoint, so just reviewing the content and the lyrics, right? I like it. Like, I really do. I think that what you're saying is very on point. Like, we need stuff like this. I always say this. Like, in the algorithms, like, when you're going on, you know, social media and you're scrolling, like, we need music that's positive. We need music that's spreading Jesus. We need music that's motivating and inspiring us to want to do more and want to change and transform ourselves. I think that that's a great thing. However, because I'm an artist, and not only just because I'm an artist, but I know music sonically, if I'm not like a super church person, right? And that's why it's really good to know your target audience. Let's say I hear this particular song. I'm already probably turned off a little bit because, okay, this song was done already by Shorty Low, right? So this is me breaking it down from all different aspects and perspectives and understanding that this song will not be for everybody, right? So Pastor B, you a pastor. You play this song in church, right, to all of the people that come to your ceremonies, right? I think that this song will definitely work. A church setting, for sure. And that's one thing I want, I want to let you know, like, my review show is to actually help artists to become better, right? So when you know your target audience, you send this particular song to places where you know it's going to work. However, it's good to get opposing views. And on the contrary, you know, it's good to get other people's ideas or ways of thinking so you can know, okay, what can I do better to make my music better? What can I do to make sure that I'm hitting the people in the crowds that I need to hit? Because I'm going to be honest with you personally would i listen to this particular record again honest no okay i honestly feel like this record i would not listen to again the first record that you send me i would and i would encourage all my artists and i would recommend all my artists and all my viewers to listen to the record that pastor b sent me before this one i really did like that record personally i really did however i may have had a couple things that i felt like you should have fixed i love it like it's positive it's 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 something that we all need to hear however i think that on this particular beat i would have said don't do it don't touch this because like when i think of they know shorty low like to me that's like a classic for shorty low you know what i'm saying that was a song that was ringing everybody enjoyed it you know what i mean like, like that was the go-to record back in the day you feel me in the 2000s that's another thing i feel like i feel like because it sounds completely the same as far as the production i think that that's another thing i would recommend that uh needs to be changed because it's too much like the record that shorty low did as far as the production wise i would have liked for you to kind of change it up do something different put some church bells and uh you know kind of switch it up and be a little bit more creative on the production side um and just sonically hearing it i feel like it's outdated I feel like it just sounds old. It doesn't sound new. It doesn't sound fresh. If you really want to sonically get everybody's attention, and I know you can't touch every single person, right? That's why I say it's really important to know your targeted audience. If you do something a little bit different, then I think that's when you can start to get the attention. It's certain things that I have to be honest as an artist and say, ah, I wish you did this differently, right? Um, like I said, the lyrics is not bad. The flow actually isn't bad. I think the cadence, of course, is outdated. I think you took the same approach as Shorty Lowe did as far as the cadence. They know, 
they know, Jesus know, you know what I mean? It was like, you should definitely switch up the cadence. And that just goes back to, you know, uh, creativity. You know what I mean? Just doing something different and fresh. And again, if you remix music, but I feel like if you touch a song and you do a remix to it, you almost have to make it just as good or, or make it better, you know? Make it better. I said, I can see you playing this song in church to the target audience and they gonna love it automatically because this is familiar this is a song that's familiar and it's positive and like i said the flow is good but however if you're doing this song and you're trying to touch people like me you're trying to touch even my audience because you know jashay signature has her own fan base as well and when you're trying to touch my audience i know my fans aren't gonna really support this record like they need to um just because it's, it doesn't sound fresh that's one two it sounds very outdated um three it isn't anything different um four i would definitely say sonically it's just not where it needs to be in 2023 right um I really did like some of the lines i think it was a line you said in there i'm gonna play that line i like one of my favorite lines you said in here Let's go to it. I do what I'm supposed to. Every prayer feel like I'm so cool. Read the Bible and my whole family come through. Every prayer feeling like I'm go cool. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't gonna lie, that was fresh because it's like you let he leveling up. He understand like man when you worship God like you get nothing but blessings. I love that line. You know what I'm saying? That's something that I probably would say, you know, just on some cool, creative type, you know what? And matter of fact, I just want to let my audience know this. Mr. Good Bars is featuring on this record, and he's the first verse that, you know, kind of goes in and kind of spits, you know, his lyrics. And then you also have Pastor B coming in second. You know what I mean? And then also Pastor B is on the hook as well. So I just want to make sure that I let my audience know like who's rapping and not thinking that this is just the same artist. It's not just Pastor B by himself. It is Mr. Good Bars. And Mr. Good Bars, I ain't gonna lie to you. I actually do like the verse. I really do like his verse. Um, it's just, like I said, it's just sound a little bit outdated. But it was another line he said in here about something about Pro Tools. I'm about to go to it. I like that part. So I'm about to give a sermon on these pro tools. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think that's creative. I like the fact that you guys are using language to basically emphasize and create this story about Jesus. I like the fact that you guys are using vocabulary words. And like, I'm really critical. Like, that's how critical I am. Most, most people like are not as critical as I am. And I think that's why I'm like super, like I'm into details because I think that uh, just seeing an artist like you guys come together and kind of like create something that's cohesive, I do appreciate that. I do love that. I think most artists, you know, nowadays they don't do that. Like I said, and I think that what I can appreciate about you guys, Mr. Good Bars and Pastor B, right, is that you guys know how to stay on topic and actually like, you know, create a cohesive piece very fluently and i do like you guys together you know i think that you guys could you know really create a very um collective piece together and like i said a lot of artists can't really do that a lot of the times people just kind of clout chase and they just like jump on records because this person is hot but you don't see the chemistry so one thing i can say is that you guys should definitely keep doing your thing and mr good bars i really love your flow, I love your voice, and I love how you switched it up. I'ma play that part right now. Because I want to go back to your verse, Pastor B, just to kind of give you an idea on what I loved and what, you know, may could have been improved on a little bit more, you know what I mean? So we're going we gonna to go there right now. Let's see. 
when I'm finna, cause I'm really, I be chilling, like James Brown said, I got it in me, if God can keep me right, God can change your life, if God can keep me right, God can change your life, if God can keep me right, God can change your life, if God can keep me right, God can change your life, hello. If God can get me right, then God can change your life. Like, it wasn't bad. It was just like, like okay, I hear the chant, I hear the chant. No, I felt like that part right there, since it was a chant, I just, I, I just wish if you picked another instrumental, like, this joint could have went harder. Like, I really feel like this joint could have went harder. Like, you could have been a little bit more creative and had, like, a choir. I just feel like this song could have been a lot more creative, man. Like... You know, it's 2023. Past the B, it's 2023. We we hello, hello, the king, they know, we came. And Rose, Jesus, the goat is coming again. We live our life again. We forget the sin. Yo, we, we, hello, hello, the king, they know, we came. And Rose, Jesus, the goat is coming again. We live our life again. We forget the sin. Yo, we, we. I got to be honest, baby. I got to be honest. If I ain't honest, then this ain't the signature review, you right? Because I got to give my signature honest opinion. And I really honestly feel like this record, man, it has to be. I think it definitely needs work. The production of this record definitely has to be changed. Um, I think that this record, I think, like, again, the lyrics is cool. You can keep the lyrics, but... It's probably the flow. The flow and the cadence is kind of throwing me off because I know this song is like old and it's already kind of been done and it's outdated. And it's just like, man, if I had to rate this record on a one through five, I'm going to be honest, I got to give it like a 2.5. Like I really do. I really enjoy the message. I do. I enjoy the message. And, you know, as an artist, I understand what you were doing. I understand the connections that you were making. I understand that you were really doing the best you could with what you pretty much had so i think that honestly i would definitely give this joint a 2.5 just because um you know i really i really love the message i really adore what you're talking about um i mean everybody need a little jesus in their life you know everybody need positivity everybody you know we all as people go through so much so we need that positive light we need to ba basically be able to see the light under the tunnel you know what i mean because when it's too dark you know, we be walking with our shadow and not really trying to figure everything out. And the fact that we do have hope and we do have faith, I think that those things are, you know, things we really need to embrace. And I really love the message. Like, it's it, it it's sad because it's like, it's not even about the message you're talking about. Like, if you're going to do music, you have to make sure the message and sonically everything goes well. I think that this song would have worked, right, in a specific time. But because we're in 2023, that's the only reason why it doesn't necessarily work. I think this would have worked when Shorty Low maybe came out with his record and then you did like a Jesus anthem for it. I think it would have worked then, right? But I think because this song came out so long ago, and then now you're doing it. And maybe you love Shorty Low. You know what I'm saying? I don't know your reason for doing it. But I just think, like, for my audience and for me, like, it, this wouldn't be a go-to record that I would listen to um, just because of how it sounds sonically. So I think sonically, that's where you lost a lot of points for me. Um, I think the production and the engineering could have been a lot better. I think the engineering isn't as bad. It's just like, because sonically, I feel like, first of all, this beat got so many horns in it. It's kind of like distorting, or not necessarily distorting your voice, but it's kind of just like washing you guys' voices out a little bit. Like, you guys got some deep voices. That's one thing I want to say, which is actually good. Like, I think you guys have good voices. I just think for this beat, it kind of, the beat, the horns, and it's just a lot of instrumental, instrumentation pretty much being taking place in this record. And I think that uh, you guys definitely should uh, pick another 
another beat, please do. I think so because I, I, I just don't think this beat is uh, helping you guys as talent out at all. You know what I mean? Like, I know you guys have great talent. Like, I literally reviewed a record from you guys before. And I think that this record in particular is just, it, it's not my style, it's not my speed. And again, I love the message. So keep, you know, talking about Jesus and keep talking about being in tune with God. You know what I mean? I think we, it's just, I couldn't necessarily get with it, you know? Um, not because of the message, but because more so of the production. I just want to lay this out to, you know, Pastor B. Like, man, I, I literally had a conversation with Pastor B. Um, we actually did a podcast together. And the podcast was amazing. And it was so sad because for some odd reason, you know, technology is not always on our side, right? And I hate that because, like, we can literally have something perfectly laid out just perfect and then like something happens boom technology had to be our issue and i couldn't publish you know um i literally like we had like an hour and a half two hour conversation we were talking about music we were talking about life we was like spitting so many gems for people to be able to listen to and hear and i just want to say that you know to my fan base like and my supporters like just because I didn't like this record, right, it didn't get a 5 out of 5 or like a 4, you know, I gave it a 2.5, so it was like, it was okay, but it wasn't like at its best. I want to say like, don't disregard this artist past the beat. He definitely got, you know, a good head on his shoulders. He definitely got some good music out there. Sometimes we don't always um, succeed on every record, and that's okay, you know what I mean? Like, me as an artist, I'm sure like I have records that, you know, ah, that's my least favorite, you know what I mean? Or, ah, you know, you should go back to the drawing board with that record. Like, us as artists, like, we literally make mistakes all the time. Like, it's okay. And the fact that, you know, I'm honest and I'm being able to point that out, I think that us as artists should, you know, kind of go back and say, hey, you know what, let me try again, let me do something differently. Or another option you can take, right? You can be like, well, guess what? You're just not my audience that I should be, you know, targeting uh, this song to. Not, like, all of your music. Because, like I said, the other song that you sent me, I love that song. But this one in particular, I wouldn't go back to this song. You know what I mean? So, again, it's all about preference. But it's also about, you know, your targeted audience. And I just feel like this record in particular, I'm going to say it again, the production wasn't, you know, on my side at all. So, I would definitely say, man, um, if you got any other music that you have on Push Up and Proverbs, like, you know, for sure, definitely send it my way. I'm looking for creative music. Don't get me wrong. You can send me whatever you want because I'm going to give you my honest critique. So that's what the signature review is about.